every cricketer who's playing for their country or state, or even in the streets near your house, would have had a small thought of playing for their country. Representing his or her country is one of the most prestigious achievements for a cricketer. But due to several reasons, people change their preference and move to another country for reasons best known to them only. Today at Simply Chuma, we are going to see the second part of the cricketers who represented two countries. Number 5. Geraint Jones Born in Papua New Guinea and brought up in Australia, this cricketer became the England team wicketkeeper in the year 2004 and was the first choice wicketkeeper until 2006. But due to his lack of form, he was taken out of the team. After a stint in county, he went back to the country where he was born and represented Papua New Guinea from 2012 to 2014. He played 49 ODI and 34 test matches for England and 2 ODIs for Papua New Guinea. Number 4. Anderson Cummins Anderson Cleophus Cummins is a former international cricketer who represented both the West Indies and Canada. He played for West Indies for exactly 4 years in which he played 63 ODIs and 5 test matches. For Canada, Cummins played in about 13 ODI matches. Number 3. Roloff van der Merwe This South African played majorly for South Africa up until he moved to Netherlands and got a Dutch passport in the year 2015. He has played 13 matches in all forms of cricket for South Africa and for Netherlands, he has played in 11 T20 international matches. Number 2. Boyd Rankin This Ireland medium pacer has played for both Ireland and England. He played for England for just two years and returned back to his home country, Ireland. Till now, Boyd has played one test match, seven ODIs and two T20 internationals for England and has played 39 ODIs and 24 T20 internationals for Ireland. Number 1. Eon Morgan Born in Ireland, this cricketer left his country to get better prospects in England and he did get that. He is the first and one of the two players who have scored an ODI ton for two countries. He eventually became the captain of the England team and is considered as the best finisher in the cricketing world. He has till now played in 152 ODIs for England as opposed to 23 ODIs for Ireland apart from 16 tests and 67 T20 internationals for England. What do you think of this list? Did we miss out on any player? Please do check out the first part of this video to see if it has the player that you were thinking of. And do comment below, not before you press the like and share button. If you have any top 5s in mind, do write to us. Our mail id is simplychuma at gmail.com. Do not forget to press the subscribe button. We update our channel with at least 3 videos a week. So do come back and check out our other videos. Share it with your family and friends too.